Fancy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. finally got here. Oh, well, I had to stop and pick up the mail. Well, let me have it, please. Oh, no, this is all for me, sir. All for you? Yes, I put an ad in the paper. An ad? Yes, you know, I have done something that's going to make you very happy. <laughs> You're looking for another job. <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm advertising for a roommate. Why would that make me happy? Well, you're always criticizing me for spending so much money. And if I have a roommate, I'll cut my expenses right in half. Just think, half of the utilities, half of the rent, half of the groceries. And half of the morning has gone by and you haven't done any work yet. <laughs> I have to read these letters very carefully. You know, it's a big decision picking a roommate. It's very difficult for two people to live together. Those are the very words I said to my wife this morning. <laughs> Out of all these, I should be able to find a roommate. Yeah. Wait, a, wait a minute, you hardly glanced at that. Why did you throw it away so quickly? Because I don't want a roommate named Irving. <laughs> oh, this one looks very promising. Listen to this, my dear Mrs. Carmichael. I am very interested in sharing an apartment with such a person as you describe in your ad. I, too, am young, intelligent, refined, and pleasant. <laughs> I am a college graduate and presently employed as a librarian. Yours truly, Carol Bradford. Oh, she sounds just perfect. If she's five foot, six and a half. What difference does it make how tall she is? <laughs> well, so we can wear each other's clothes. <laughs> I just can't wait to interview my new roommate. If you don't get to work, I will be interviewing new office mates. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, hi, Mary Jane. Is she here yet? No, not yet. What's that? Oh, those are elephant bells from India. Aren't they beautiful? Oh. Let's see now. Oh, yes. I'm going to put this here. That's a good height for that. For heaven's sake, you think you were expecting royalty instead of a roommate. Well, I can tell by her letter she's very refined and dignified. And that's just the kind of girl I'm looking for. You know, she's a college graduate, and I want to make a very favorable impression. Hey, that's new. Yeah, yeah, you like it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> what is it? It's an abstract. Oh. Gee, I paid almost a whole week's salary for that thing, but I think it will impress her. <laughs> Oh, that must be her. I mean, it must be she. I'm going to have to watch my grammar. Yeah, I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, thanks for coming over. Your aunt. Yes, yes. And I'm, I'm Lucy. Uh, <clears throat> I'm Lucy Carmichael. I was expecting you. Can I help you with your thing? Thank you. <laughs> May I take that? Oh here? no, no, no! Thank you. I'll, I'll just put it right over here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, 
I should have warned you about that step. No, I'm all right. I'm just glad it happened here instead of at the library. Oh. They're very strict about noise. Yes. <laughs> oh, look, you broke your glasses. Oh, no, I always wear them like that. Without lenses? <laughs> I have on contact lenses, see? Oh, well, then why do you wear the... Uh... So people won't think I'm vain. <laughs> ever be vain. You're, you're much too refined and dignified oh, for that. Well, that's my library training. Oh. Believe me, it isn't always easy. No. Especially when you get some of those people in the library who are looking for a book and they can't remember the title or the author's name yeah. and you go through shelf after shelf after book after book and you want to say to them, drop dead! <laughs> Don't dare, because it's a library. <laughs> well, it must be very difficult to control yourself at times. Mm, yes. Well, I'm very dedicated. Oh. One time, I was way up high on a ladder, putting a book back on a shelf. Yeah. But... And somebody came along and took the ladder right out from under me and left me hanging. <laughs> something? What? I waited until that library closed before I would yell, HELL! <laughs> Why? Well, you certainly are dedicated. Well, I like to be considerate of other people. Oh, well, that's, that's good. That's just the kind of girl that I was hoping to have for a roommate, I can tell you. Well, that's the kind of girl you got. <laughs> well, I'm so glad. Uh, why don't we, uh... <laughs> you know, uh, even though we just met, I, I have a feeling that uh, uh, just by little things that we're going to be very compatible. Well, you know, the little things are important. <laughs> yeah, you said it. Some things can really drive me batty. <laughs> oh, I know what you mean. You know, one of the little things that drives me crazy at the library is when we get one of those loud finger wetters. <laughs> Loud finger wetters? Yeah. You know the kind I mean. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I, I, knew, I knew a girl like that in school, and we never knew whether she was going to read the book or eat it. I can understand that. <laughs> you know, I think I'll just uh, clear this off a little bit and make us some coffee. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. I, I think I, I better close the window. Maybe you're catching cold. Oh, no, no. It's all right. It's just an allergy. Oh, what are you allergic to? Well, we found out it's something in the air. What? Oxygen. <laughs> it open. Who's Harvey? My goldfish. <laughs> Do you have a goldfish? Oh, I hope he's welcome here. Oh, of course he is, of course. Well, actually, the manager doesn't allow pets, but as long as he's housebroken. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you. I'll get the coffee. All right, and I'll get Harvey. He doesn't like to be left out of things. No, you bring him in. Well, don't be embarrassed. I do it all the time. I'm going to have to put in a ski lift. <laughs>
should do. Well, I know. We can put this nice chair right over here, like that. And then we can take this table with the flowers on it, and we can put that right over here and make that a nice, cozy little corner like that. And uh, don't you think that looks better? Well, well, I think the room could be angled a little for more advantage. Now, let me see. We'll take the couch, and we can move that back here like that. Doesn't that look yeah, and now we'll take this chair and we can put that right back up. Oh, excuse me. Right here like that. And let's see, one more thing. Oh, yeah. We'll take Harvey and we'll put him right over here. What? He likes to watch television. <laughs> He's crazy about Flipper. <laughs> Sweetheart, while mommy has her coffee. <laughs> that table should be centered. <laughs> taking a shower. Oh, Lucy, you've rearranged your furniture. Yeah, my new roomie rearranged my furniture. I love it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Yeah, how about that? That's some more of her handiwork. I like that better than the abstract. <laughs> you do, huh? You know, she must be really a homebody. You don't find many girls like that anymore. Yeah, yeah, I know. But I think she's gonna be murder to live with. Oh, why? Well, for one thing, it's a, she's got a laugh like a hyena. <laughs> and she, when she sneezes, she sounds like a sonic blast. <laughs> Lucy, don't you think you're exaggerating no. a bit? No. <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know. No, that's all right. Come here, I'd like you to meet my girlfriend, Mary Jane. <laughs> Bradford, Mary Jane Hello, Lewis. Carol. I, I found this ribbon on your dresser and I wondered what it was for. Oh, I've had that thing for years. I won fourth place in a contest. Oh, what kind of contest? A beauty contest. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be able to take much of this. Carol, are you all right? I was vocalizing. <laughs> vocalizing? That's the way I vocalize. <laughs> I sing in a choir. Oh, she sings in a choir. We, uh, we meet every Saturday afternoon. Oh, well, that must be very nice for you. Well, it is. I, I don't have much of a social life. Well, I'm, I'm kind of shy around people, but somehow when I'm singing, I feel more at ease. Oh. Huh. Well, besides singing, what else do you do for amusement? Oh, I read a lot. Oh, well, don't you ever go out after work? Oh, sure. Sometimes the girls and I go out after the library closes. Oh, where do you go? We know this after-hours library. <laughs> what, uh, uh, what's that? Well, it's a research library near the university. It's open till 10 o'clock. <laughs> well, I guess that must give you a chance to meet some of the boys from the university, huh? No, I haven't met any boys. You haven't? Why, I'll bet there are lots of boys that would like to go out with you, Carol. Yes. 
Maybe she belongs in a shell. Because I think she's some kind of a nut. Mary Jane, I think I'll put these two tables together so we can put the stuff on there, huh? Yeah, that's good. And I'm going to push this divan back farther so we have more room to oh, dance. Oh, that's much better. Oh, gosh, I wish those fellows would get here. I like to have the party started before Carol gets home. Don't worry, they'll come. They promised Lucy. There they are. Hi, Lucy. Hi. 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 You brought your instruments. How oh, wonderful. Well, this is a party, isn't it? Oh, well, I'm so glad you got here. I was afraid you wouldn't show up. Neither rain nor sleet nor snow could keep us from our appointed freeloading. <laughs> Here's a pizza and a bottle of Chianti. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very nice of you. Now, where's that swinging chick Mary Jane told us about? Swinging <laughs> chick? Yeah, the doll that poses for all those bikini ads. <laughs> Oh, really? Look, fellas, <laughs> Carol's not exactly a swinging chick. She's very nice, and but she's rather shy and inhibited. And I just thought if I had a few people over, it might bring her out of her shell. Oh, Mel can handle that. He's very good at getting girls out of things. <laughs> <laughs> Once he got a girl out of Cincinnati. Oh. I did not. They're just putting me on because I happen to be kind of shy myself. Oh, well, I'm sure you and Carol will get along just fine. Look, let's say we get the party started, huh? How about playing something? Good. Okay. <laughs> Just wine. It goes with the pizza that the fellas brought. Uh, in Italy, they drink this just like water. <laughs> I'm a firm believer in drinking a lot of water. Hi, Carol. I'm Mel. Uh, Carol works in a library. 
Oh, that's very interesting. Yeah, well, tell her what you do, Mel. I don't work in a library. <laughs> that's very interesting. Uh, look, why don't you two go over there and, and talk a little while, and, and we'll get the stuff ready for the party, and, and uh, you, you just enjoy yourself now. Did you know that there are 6,950,000 books in the New York Public Library? No. <laughs> Did you know that contrary to popular belief, the first public library was not founded in Boston, Massachusetts, but in Peterborough, New Hampshire? No. <laughs> books are stolen annually. I didn't know that. Well, that's classified information and shouldn't be given out. I'm going to my room. Oh, no, Carol, don't go to your room, darling. Now, stay here. Come on now, honey, and enjoy yourself. I can't. Now, now, listen, stop. Just try to relax. I can't don't be so self-conscious. I'm so nervous oh, when my. I get around men, and you know what happens when I get nervous? Oh, oh. I get the... <laughs> <laughs> For heaven's sake, just try to relax. Listen, listen, honey, you said sometimes when you sing, you feel more at ease. That's true. Yeah, well, then, come on, why don't you sing a song? Yes, yes. Yes, you can. Just pretend that you're singing with your choir. Choir? Yeah, come on, try it, honey, come on. Come on, fellas. Uh, uh, Carol uh, said that she likes to sing a song. Uh, yes, come on. She wants you to accompany her. Come on, Carol. Want to sing, honey? They wouldn't know anything I know. Oh, don't you worry about that. You just start the melody and we'll jump in. Sure. Anything. Go ahead. Go, Go ahead, ahead, honey. Go ahead. <laughs> Can I have a little more of that Italian water? <laughs> to this hymn about how evil battles virtue and the fight to sink or swim. <laughs> <laughs> something to me.
The Lucy Show.